rising food prices, rising gas prices, Roe versus Wade and the history of Planned Parenthood. See, to me, the rising food and the gas prices, they've been going on way before this war with Russia and the Ukraine. Everything is done by design. They say Russia has about one third of the world's supply of wheat, but how is that affecting all these other things when it comes to do with the food industry? You know, when the gas prices, it just threw the roof, so is the food, and it's all meant to just align the elite's pockets while the rich get richer, the poor get nothing, in my opinion. Everything is done by design. Pay attention and stay woke to what's going on around you. In, in uh, Tennessee, Governor Bill Lee is even pushing to suspend the food sale tax, which means you'll be able to buy food without the sale tax, but for just a month, but at least he's trying to, to do something. I think it needs to be longer than a month, and I think more states need to be trying to, to do something to, to lighten the load on a, on a regular consumer, uh, the regular average person. Okay, to touch on this Roe versus Wade, you know, you can't take away rights of a woman. You know, with women, though, you should be a little bit more, uh, I want to use, use the right word, you should be more in tune with who you land with. You know, don't just be having abortions and things like this uh, just out of convenience. Make sure the guy in which you're laying with is the right guy. Don't just go have an abortion because you think he's not going to be there for you, this, that, or the other. Make sure it's the right person. You know, and I believe in my opinion that the guy should hold a little say so into the abortion, but also it's ultimately the woman's the woman's uh, decision, and things shouldn't be taken away from a woman, such as her rights to have an abortion, because you got some women that are out here being raped and hurt by by uh, certain types of men that do those types of things, and they shouldn't have to carry a baby and deceive a baby that was not even consented to, in my opinion. You know, because that's wrong. And if we keep letting the government take away little subtle rights of us, one thing at a time, you'll look up, and before you know it, a person will have no rights. You know, in the history of Planned Parenthood, it was an evil thing. Margaret Sanger was an evil person. She was a racist and a eugenicist. She uh, deemed some people undesirables in society, such as Mexicans, Native Americans, black women, and they forced sterilization upon people also. Fannie Lou Hamer went in, they said, for something to get something done, I don't want to get it wrong, at the hospital, and they sterilized her, and she didn't even go there for that. You know, they were uh, sterilizing a lot of our women, our black women and things, so these Planned Parenthoods were put in the community by design to eliminate our population and people they deem less fortunate. So stay woke, stay tapped in and mindful of what's going on around you and, you know, make the best informed decision for yourself. Like and subscribe. Peace.